Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Silver Tempest Booster Bundle. This product I did buy from Game Nerds for $17.47. So I purchased it for less than MSRP. The MSRP for this product $23.99. It is a very straightforward product. You just get six booster packs of Silver Tempest and that is it. So as opposed to an Elite Trainer Box, I would highly recommend this booster bundle. You don't get anything that you really don't need. So Silver Tempest is the newest set in the TCG, November 11th, 2022, the official release date for the final main Sword and Shield series expansion. Of course, Crown Zenith will be the final Sword and Shield series expansion. That will be a special expansion released in January. So if I flip this around, you can see exactly what's on the inside, those six booster packs, and then just a description essentially of Silver Tempest. I believe just the past couple of sets here have had these booster bundles. If it was Lost Origin, that was the first set to have them. I think that was the case. So I'll take the plastic wrap off, maybe. Just trim my nails up so I don't have much of a grip. All right. So like the Elite Trainer Box, once the plastic wrap is off, you just slide the cover off. And then you can open up the box. Similar more towards a Build and Battle Box pre-release kit, that type of thing. All right, so only six booster packs on the inside. I can find the Silver Tempest booster packs for about $3 a piece, so three times six, 18. It's right on with the price per individual pack. It's essentially if you want six all grouped together, or if you just want to take your luck with six random packs. So Regidrago on this one. If I do pull anything good, at the end of this video, I will show the prices for those cards. Of course, Lugia V-Star, the gold colored one, one of the more valuable cards in the set. That is the Pokemon the set is based around that Lugia V, the alternate full art is the most valuable in the set. Swablu starts this one, Rotom, Baneri, Dreepy, Fanpy, Water Type Energy, Lance, Fletchender, Clang, Reverse Hollow of a Clay Doll, an Uncommon, and the final card would be an Archeops. So, hoping to get one or two good pulls from six packs. Rare Hollow card is normally not very good, but this Archeops is so good. Its ability, Primal Turbo, once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. And I believe this card works very well with the Lugia V-Star. Its V-Star power allows you to just go in your discard pile. I believe it's your discard pile, either your discard pile or your deck, and take out two colorless Pokemon and put them on your bench so you can quickly get two Archeops set up outside of essentially going... Uh, a rare candy in your deck to get to Archeops. So if you're going to pull a rare holo from this set, that would be the one to pull. Lugia V-Star on this one. Of course, there's the Trainer Gallery subset, a 30-card subset within Silver Tempest. Those types of cards come in the reverse holo spot. Same goes for the Radiant Pokemon, three in this set, in Serena, Alakazam, and Jirachi. Jirachi is easily the best of the three. Petalil starts this one. Pikachu, Growlithe, Clink, Whalmer, Darkness Type Energy, Furisode Girl, Lopany, Quadstone, Reverse Hollow of an Armaldo. The rare Reverse Hollows are hard to come by in this set. This is one. And then that same Armaldo as the final card. Armaldo brings back some memories for those longtime viewers on my channel. One of the first decks that I built with the Diamond and Pearl series of sets. Armaldo was one of the Pokemon that was my primary attacker. This is what I like to see. A black border code card. That means you're going to get something at least a rare hollow or better in the final spot. Always hoping for a full art or secret rare. More than likely it will be a rare hollow or a Pokemon V. Clink starts the pack. Sunkern. 
Petalil, Litten, Murkrow, Grass Type Energy, Lantern, Brandon, Altaria, Reverse Hollow of a Gardevoir. I really like this card. Shout out, of course, to SentaiFan45, Pedro, who is an administrator for my live streams, but he's a big fan of Gardevoir and all he likes this card in particular. And then the final card would be a worker. And this is a rainbow rare trainer. So what an amazing pack. And this pack easily, easily makes the booster bundle worth it. Draw three cards, discard a stadium in play. It's not a bad stadium card, but a rainbow rare. I'm always hoping for the rarest of pulls. So that has made the video that's worthy of a dab and another dab for sure. Now, I've talked about this in the past, having guaranteed pulls. This would be the perfect product, in my opinion. $23.99, six booster packs, guarantee an ultra rare or better from these six packs. I think that would make these more in demand, and you could actually probably get $23.99 for the booster bundle instead of less if you're guaranteed something good. Fungus to start this one. Sandy Guest, halfway through this booster bundle, Relicanth, Halucha, Togedemaru, Lightning Type Energy, Leafy Camo Pancho, Palo Sand, Matang, Reverse Hall of a Togedemaru, a common, and then Frostlass as the final card. Not often do you see the character in the illustration unless you're looking at a character card, a trainer gallery subset card. Reggie Drago on this one, Lugia V Star on the final one. I will head over to TCG Player and figure out what the prices are for that worker as well as the Gardevoir. I would think the Gardevoir would be worth $10 or so, the worker probably about the same. Sandile starts the second to last pack. Swirlix, Marini, Indeedee, Baltoy, Fighting Type Energy. Curlia, Venomoth, Wallace, Reverse Hollow Ponyta, a common, and then Miss Magius as the final card. I would assume not anything spectacular in the final pack, just because my pulls have been so good so far. Lugia on it, like I mentioned. Let's see. There's a black border code card. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. That means there's something good. Even if it is a white border code card, potentially something good in that reverse hollow spot. Okay, final pack. It starts with a Ralts, Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat, Elgem, Fire Type Energy, Araquanid, Stone Journer, Ferrothorn, Reverse Hollow of a Waylord, an uncommon, and then the final card would be a Reshiram V, one of, what, 16 different Pokemon V available in this set. It brings me back to my black and white opening days back when I lived in my apartment up in the Twin Cities. So a good way to end it. Give me a moment and I'll summarize my polls. But before I do that, I will head over to TCG Player if my computer works here. And there it is. Let's take a look. So the most valuable card is that Lugia V alternate art. I should probably sort by product and go to worker 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 secret rare who much less than i thought at five dollars and 58 cents so that's much much lower but the demand is really far down as well with pokemon cards in general and then if i go to gardevoir oh was i way off on my predictions gardevoir a dollar 21 and i have noticed these trainer gallery subset cards are not worth much. I've actually thought about going out and just buying a bunch of them just because I like collecting them. And I think long term they will do pretty well. Most valuable card in that trainer gallery subset, the Rayquaza V Max. So now I will do a summary of the pulls from the booster model bundle, which I have been pretty happy with. From six total booster packs, I was able to pull out a rare reverse solo in Armaldo. A rare haul, a good one in Archeops. A really good Trainer Gallery subset card, at least illustration artwork-wise in Gardevoir. 
one Pokemon V and Reshiram. And then easily the toughest pull, the Rainbow Rare Worker, which is worth a lot less than I thought, but still a very tough card to pull and a very good card to add to my collection. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to support my channel even more, please consider becoming a Patreon of mine a patron of mine on Patreon, rather. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And also, I do have a book out there, Pokemon Cards, the unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. So thank you, everyone, for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.